Hello there, it's me again, James Cassell. I'm going to show you briefly now um, a quick way how to find the true length of of lines, in this case of this square-based pyramid, especially because this is a problem, especially when dealing with the development, to find the true length of this edge here. We'll deal with true lengths more deeply in a, another session. I just want to show you when dealing with developments of pyramids because this is usually a problem. When you have a pyramid, a square based pyramid similar to this, as it is set up here, you're looking at the pyramid like this, which gives us this view. Now this edge here is given as the true length in this view. Now why is that? Because we're looking at it perpendicularly at 90 degrees which means that it is parallel to the plane it's drawn on which means in this case the distance from here to this plane which is the paper and, from, and the distance from this point to the paper is the same. So you're looking at it although it's a slanting line but it's slanting that way, not inwards, it's slanting this way. So this is actually the true length of these edges. Since they're all the same, it's the true length of these edges. Now if you want to develop this pyramid, draw a development of this pyramid, what we're going to do is draw a, a line parallel to this line here, since it is the true length, between its perpendicular height. So a line parallel to that somewhere here and that gives me the true length of the development so I can open my compass to that length and draw an arc which is This should be as long as four arcs of this length. But we dealt with developments in another session. I just wanted to show you how to get the true length for this. So as a general rule, if you see that in the plan it is a horizontal line, that would mean that that same line is the true length in the other view. As is the case with a cone. A cone, you've got no edges here, but if you imagine those 12 edges which we divided the cone into to get the development, you would have a horizontal line here, which would mean that that is the true length as well for the cone. So the cone gives us no problem in that sense. Now what happens if there is no true length? given in those views. So if there is no true length we have to do a very simple construction to get that true length. Now for a second ignore this view here and look at the front and the plan. It's the same pyramid although this is a rectangular pyramid and now we're looking at it at this edge from this face not as we did before from this face. When you're looking at, at this face, these two edges are sloping inwards, which means that the distance from me to this point is less than the distance from me to that point. So what you're seeing in this view is actually less than its actual length. So we have to find its true length. Now to be a true length, you have to look at it perpendicularly. And as I've done here, I've rotated this view slightly to get this line in a horizontal position. So at this point I've just rotated it slightly so that this diagonal here gets into the horizontal position. Now if it were rotated like this and this projected in line with this, you would get the true length. So what we need to do is rotate, not the whole thing, you don't have to draw the whole thing, 
Rotate that diagonal until you get to the horizontal position, project to the top, and then you have, we would have found the true length. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to project, I'm going to rotate, that edge here until you get to the horizontal position until you get in line with the center so I've rotated that point from there up to there and it gives me that same distance which I've shown in this view. You don't have to draw that view. All you have to do is rotate that edge until you get in line and that edge has become horizontal. Then project that line up to where the original point was. So now it's in line with the original base. And this length here gives you the true length. That is the true length, which is slightly longer than the one we had originally. So if we're going to develop this, you would have to project a line parallel to this and not to the original line, as is the case with this hexagon here. I've got no horizontal lines in this view, so this means that it is not the true length. So again, if it had been horizontal, that would have given me a true length. So what I need to do is, in this case, don't draw the plan all over again in this position, just take that diagonal, rotate it until you get to the horizontal position in, in line with that so I've rotated from here until I've reached that position there project it to the plan up to the base And there you have your true length, the length you should develop from. That's your true length. So once you're developing this pyramid, you should uh, take a line parallel to that new line, not to the old line. Now these true lengths just deal with these pyramids. A later less session would deal with how to find true lengths of, of lines in space and of thin objects like laminates.